TFNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN, 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Excuse me, 10 a.m. Eastern Time. We're 30 minutes into the trading day. We're not quite to 11 just yet. And we got markets trading to basically session highs right now. You got the S&Ps. We are up by 65 points. That's 1.2% in the positive. We got the NASDAQ 100. We're up a similar percentage, 1.36%, 252 points in the positive right now, 18,220. We got the Dow. Up one and a quarter percent, up 490 points, trading at 39,392. And the Russell up by 1.4 percent as well. So all the indices up about 1.2 to 1.4 percent right now. All of this on the heels of a weak initial jobless claims number. We'll get into that in a moment. Crude sitting at about 75.39 right now. You got the gold contract up $20 at 24.52 this morning. We jumped to notes and bonds. The 10 year just hit 4 percent. And as we speak, we're just under that number right now, 3.994. But we just hit 4%. And on early Monday, we were under 3.7. So the market had the 10-year yield at 3.68 or 3.67. I'll have to get the exact one of where we were when we were at 115.03. We were at about 3.67%. We're at 4%. 33 basis points, just like that. Now, fear, you know, the market got dislocated on Monday. That's why you saw the VIX. We'll jump to the VIX was at 65. We're still at an elevated level of 25, but nothing like we saw as some of that carry trade was getting unwound to a dramatic degree. Nikkei was down 12%, right? Our markets were down 3, 5, 7% coming into the pre-market. Things have righted themselves a bit, but as I was just talking about on the program, we're going to have some volatility coming down the line, man, as we digest rate cuts coming down in September, how far they're going to go, how fast they're going to go. We will find out. Now, jumping into those initial weekly jobless claims, we pull that up. Let me find that one. You're talking about a number, I think we're at 233,000. Where are we? 233 was the number on initial claims. The market was looking for 240. Continuing claims right in line, so not a huge number in terms of a, a, a miss, in terms of what the market was looking for. So don't think this is going to save everything, folks. That's pretty close to what the market was expecting. Now, you can say decline by the most in nearly a year. But you're still sitting at 233,000. Okay, initial jobless claims right in line with estimates. The market, they take it, they run with it. Basil's out today. We're going to have a replay this hour, but then we have our man Steve Rhodes. He's back in the saddle, coming up with the Trader's Edge at 11 o'clock, fast market at 12. Larry Pesavento live at 1 o'clock. My dad, Tom O'Brien, back from 3 till 4. Have a great